In this video, we will introduce top classification algorithms in machine learning. Before diving into the details of each, we need to first understand different types of algorithms and what is a classification. At the highest level, algorithms can be classified into supervised learning, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. The easiest way to distinguish a supervised and unsupervised learning is to see whether the data is labeled or not. Supervised learning learns a function to make prediction of a defined label based on the input data. It can be either classifying data into a category which is classification problem or forecasting an outcome which is regression algorithm. Unsupervised learning reveals the underlying pattern in the dataset that are not explicitly presented, which can discover the similarity of data points like clustering algorithms or uncover hidden relationships of variables which are association rule algorithms. Reinforcement learning is another type of machine learning, where the agents learn to take actions based on its interaction with the environment, with the aim to maximize rewards. It is most similar to the learning process of human, following a trial-and-error approach. Supervised learning can be further categorized into classification and regression algorithms. Classification model identifies which category an object belongs to, whereas regression model predicts a continuous output. Sometimes there is an ambiguous line between classification algorithms and regression algorithms. Many algorithms can be used for both classification and regression, and classification is just regression model with a threshold applied. When the number is higher than the threshold it is classified as true, while lower classified as false. In this article, we will discuss top 6 machine learning algorithms for classification problems, including logistic regression, decision tree, random forest, support vector machine, k nearest neighbor and naive bays. Check out my website in the description if you want detailed guide and code snippet for these algorithms. Logistics regression uses sigmoid function to return the probability of a label. It is widely used when the classification problem is binary, true or false win or lose, positive or negative. The sigmoid function here generates a probability output. By comparing the probability with a predefined threshold, the object is assigned to a label accordingly. Decision tree builds tree branches in a hierarchy approach and each branch can be considered as an if-else statement. The branches develop by partitioning the dataset into subsets based on most important features. Final classification happens at the leaves of the decision tree. As the name suggests, random forest is a collection of decision trees. It is a common type of ensemble methods which aggregate results from multiple predictors. Random forest additionally utilizes bagging technique that allows each tree trained on a random sampling of original dataset and takes the majority vote from trees. Compared to decision tree, it is better generalization but less interpretable because of more layers added to the model. Support Vector Machine finds the best way to classify the data based on the position in relation to a border between positive class and negative class. This border is known as the hyperplane which maximize the distance between data points from different classes. Similar to Decision Tree and Random Forest, Support Vector Machine can be used in both classification and regression. You can think of k-nearest neighbor algorithm as representing each data point in a n-dimensional space, which is defined by n features. And it calculates the distance between one point to another, then assign the label of unobserved data based on the labels of nearest observed data points. KNN is also commonly used in recommendation system. Naive Bayes is based on Bayes' theorem, an approach to calculate conditional probability based on prior knowledge, and the naive assumption that each feature is independent to each other. The biggest advantage of Naive Bayes is that, while most machine learning algorithms rely on large amount of training data, it performs relatively well even when the training data size is small. Gaussian Naive Bayes is a type of Naive Bayes classifier that follows the normal distribution. Now that we have an overview of how each algorithm works, let's walk through the process of machine learning lifecycle, starting from exploratory data analysis to building model pipeline and then evaluating model performance. Histogram, grouped bar chart and box plot are suitable EDA techniques for classification machine learning algorithms. Univariate analysis examines the characteristics of one feature, commonly histogram is used for numeric features while bar chart is used for categorical feature. In this case, histogram is used for all features, 
because all features have been encoded into numeric values in the dataset. This saves us the time for categorical encoding that usually happens during the feature engineering stage. To show how categorical value weigh in determining the target value, grouped bar chart is a straightforward representation. For example, sex equals 1 and sex equals 0 have distinctly different distribution of target value, which indicates it is likely to contribute more to the prediction of target. On the other hand, if the target distribution is the same regardless of the categorical features, then very likely they are not correlated. Box plot shows how the values of numerical features varies across target groups. For example, we can tell that old peak have distinct difference when target is 0 versus target is 1, suggesting that it is an important predictor. Classification algorithm falls under the category of supervised learning, so dataset needs to be split into a subset for training and a subset for testing, sometime also a validation set. The model is trained on the training set and then examined using the testing set. This model pipeline includes all classification algorithms mentioned before and we will iterate through them to train, test, predict and evaluate. After model training, the last step is to test the model evaluation. Accuracy is the most straightforward indicator of the model performance. It measures the percentage of accurate predictions, the sum of true positive and true negative, divided by the total. We can also use Seaborn to visualize the confusion matrix in a heat map. Here is the comparison of confusion matrix of six classification algorithms. ROC is the plot of true positive rate against false positive rate at various classification threshold. AUC is the area under the ROC curve, and higher AUC indicates better model performance. Each algorithm has its own preference and require different data processing and feature engineering techniques, for example KNN is sensitive to features at different scale, and multicollinearity affects the result of logistic regression. Understanding the characteristics of each allows us to balance the trade-off and select the appropriate model according to the data set. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Look forward to see you in the next one.